cover to that to get a constant of first sum of the toxic functions of this. And you need to be able to apply the rules of differentiation on the variable. Alright, so these are some essential questions that I want you guys to think about throughout the unit. And hopefully by the end of this unit, this lesson you can answer some of these questions. Okay, what is derivative? What are derivatives used for? Why is derivatives a function? And why are there so many different rules of differentiation? You can take a moment to just think about this first. Prepare you for later, yeah? Okay, so uh, for this part, I want you guys to bring the pairs up. For the three of you though, you need to, you will have one, one close two students. So maybe uh, you can be close two students. I think that is fun. Okay, so there are two tasks here. So we already know how to differentiate sine x. Now what happens if a multiple of sine x, a constant in front of it? Alright, in this case, you just move the multiple in front of the d dx differentiation. Just move it out and you just do the transition as normal. Alright, so just bring the k out of the function and then you just differentiate. So what should it be? What's, sin, what's the differentiation of sine x? Cos. Cosine x. So therefore it's k cosine x. Alright? How about the second one? You move the k out, differentiate cosine, you get negative, negative sine, therefore negative k sine. Right? Again, multiple of times x, move the k out. K is equal to square x, yes. Right? Try this yourselves.
So dy dx for this function, or y prime, if you see that instead, will be equal to the derivative of just the outer function first. In this example, the outer function is this power of 7. So you want to focus on just that outer function form, the power of 7, and take the derivative of that. You can even just ignore the inside like power for now. So take the derivative of the power, you use the power rule, which hopefully you've seen before. But it means that you bring down the power out front as a coefficient. So we bring down the 7 out front. And you also knock down the power by 1. You reduce the power by 1, so that power becomes 6 instead of 7. And for the chain rule, for now you leave the enzyme part alone, the way it is. So it's 3x plus 1. Just for now, it will stay the same. Now, you are not done with the chain rule because you have something more than just x inside. If this were x here, you would be done. But because there's an inner part, you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function as well. It also has a derivative component. So, you focus on just that inside expression, 3x plus 1, and you take the derivative of just 3x plus 1, ignoring the higher power. Hopefully you've seen derivatives like this before. The derivative will just be 3, because for this term, 3x, it's the constant multiple rule. The derivative of that would just be 3, the number out in front of the x. And then for the plus 1 term, the derivative is just 0. That part goes away, because the derivative of any constant is always 0. So that whole derivative is just 3. And you're pretty much done with the chain rule. You can clean this up a little bit and simplify. And that is your derivative. dy dx equals 21 times 3x plus 1 all is 6 power. I combine the 7 times 3 on the front. If you are confused about the power rule, you can look that up. That's a separate topic. That's not easy. Just try one or two. And if you're comfortable enough, move on to the next level. Do it first. Once you're done, you pass the paper to your friends who will then mark based on all these numbers to see whether you uh, meet the success criteria or not. So do it on your own first. When you're done, you pass it to your partner. Make sure you write the steps. Show full working solution so that your friends can mark the corporation. Yeah. So you write insert this to your link. Alright? You will see five questions. Choose three to answer. Write add your comments below the questions. Oh no. Make sure you put your name so that I know who you are, yeah? Uh, it is um, underscore, right? Underscore. Oh. Underscore, underscore, BG, yeah? Choose three? Yeah, choose any. Uh, the, the ones that are applicable, those are questions might not be applicable to you. You can also see other people's comments. You can also like it if you like it. Wow. And uh, answer questions uh, on the spot or after the what lesson. Yes, but I'm looking at the comments. Do revisit this uh, later at home now yeah, because I'll be, I'll be giving you guys feedback or if you have questions, I'll be answering from there. Mm -hmm. Alright, everyone should see this now, right? So, add your comments here. Okay, if you like your friend's comments, just like it. Like it. <laughs> I can't, I don't see anything yet. I really put the Really? Uh, I need to refresh then. Alright, anonymous. Uh, this, now you see, um, over here it says anonymous. So I need this to be, it's a list, right? Yeah. So you need to... Uh, I'll just put over there at the end, and it's like, it's anonymous. I need to know who you are, right? Okay. Okay. Anonymous, anonymous, anonymous. Uh, the most important thing is Just put it over there at the end if you didn't log in. Minute? Uh, you have a question? Okay. Oh, yeah.
especially any person that have it right there. So 